rotation. So this is a diagram of rotation. So this why this object moves from the position one to position two. So this is a radius of the rotation is a r. So this is the travel through the s. So angle travel is a theta. So r is a radius, s is angular part. So the one revolution is a taken to the 360 degree or the two by radian. So the one radian is a one divided by two by or zero by one by nine revolution. So the angular velocity can be calculated. Angular velocity is a omega is equal to delta theta by delta t. So this is the original is a angle is a theta one, find the angle theta two. So theta two minus theta one. So divided by t two minus t one. Then we can calculate the angular velocity. So the point is that this object moving at the constant uh, angular uh, acceleration. So we can uh, write down the equation. Omega 2 is equal to omega 1 plus F5 into delta T. F5 is an angular acceleration radius mass second squared. So F5 can be calculated. Omega 2 minus omega 1 divided by delta T. So angular displacement is a S. Can also be calculated. S equal to omega 1 T plus half into alpha T squared. So this is a rotation uh, formula. And based on this formula, we solve this problem. The angular position theta t of a the reference y on the disk is a given by the theta is equal to minus 1 minus 0 by 60 plus 0 by 2 by t squared. A, grab the angular position of the disk versus y. So from the point 3 to 5 by 4 second. B, f what y does theta t reach maximum minimum value? Why is a minimum value? So first is are the theta t is a given here. Theta is a minus one point six t plus zero by two pi t squared. So the, the we substitute the time from the point three to five by four seconds. So theta minus three is a we substitute minus three here, minus two here, and five by four, and horizontal t vertical theta and the all the values are graph. So the all the theta and the t are graph. So this is for us a so theta multiplied as t graph. So this is the graph we like this. And another one is a, a minimum. Minimum is a delta t by delta t is equal to zero. So zero means that you have to use a differentiate. Differentiate there, minus one minus y six t plus y two by t squared is a differentiate. So what you call is a minus y six plus y five t is equal to zero. So from here you can calculate t is equal to one by two second. And then the, uh, we also can calculate that how many is a ang angular. So the, in the place of the t is a one by two we substitute here. You call this a one by three is a radian or minus seventy seven point nine degree. So the pi is a radian is a hundred eighty. So the one by minus one by three is a radian can be calculated. So this is minus seventy seven point nine. And this problem, a grindstone rotates at the constant angular acceleration alpha equal to zero by three by radian mass second square. At time t is equal to zero. It has an angular velocity omega zero is a minus four by six radian mass second. And a reference line on it is Horizontal at the angular position theta zero equal to zero. So a what die after t equal to zero is the reference line at the angular position theta equal to five revolution. B describe the rotation between t equal to zero and t equal to thirty two second. C f what die t does the grind stroke momentarily stop. So the case that we have to calculate the so angular sa initial sa uh, displacement is a uh, Theta zero is zero, and the mode through the uh, five revolution. So five revolution theta is equal to five revolution. So theta is a uh, five revolution can be calculated five multiplied two by radian. So it's called the ten pi. So then we can calculate theta here. Theta is the omega zero t plus half into alpha t square. So theta is equal to ten pi minus four by six t plus half into zero by three pi t square. So then we got the Point one seven five t square minus four by six t minus thirty one by four equal to zero. So we compare with the formula a square plus b plus c equal to zero. A is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus four ac by two a. So in the place of the b, uh, we can substitute the minus four by c, the b, and also this are uh, a y one seven five c minus thirty one by four. So you substitute so t is a thirty two second. So the front is a t zero root t thirty two second. The R5 minus R0 by 3 by radian mass second square. So this is a rotation and a deceleration. And then the, the number C, so Christ from momentary stop. So the, at the time that you can calculate that the total omega 0 is a minus 4 by 6. 
minus 0, four by six radian mass second here, and final is a rotation is a zero, so this is a final angle of rotation zero, so omega equal to zero. We have to calculate the t. In this case, our uh, angular acceleration is a uh, zero by three by radian mass second square. So that we calculate t square to omega minus omega zero by alpha. So the final velocity is zero zero minus minus four by six divided by zero by three five. You call it that in second. So this is the way that we can calculate the grindstone's uh, rotation. And then uh, based on the dose of the uh, in Isabel, uh, we have to do that uh, further study. Top is it, center of mass and linear momentum. Study the slide 7 to 11. Do the exercise as questions 27 to question 28. And the next topic is relating the linear and the angular variables. So in this case, the displacement can be calculated as equal to theta multiplied r. A is a linear displacement, d is angular displacement, r is a radius. The speed, ds by dd is equal to r into dd by dt. In this case, this is a rotation, so 4 is a atom on the radius r. t is equal to 2 by r by v, or t is equal to 2 by my omega. In this case, t is the top. r by angular assassination, and also this assassination dv by dd can be calculated. This is the r d omega by dt. In this case, the tangential assassination AD is equal to R multiplied alpha, and radial assassination AI is equal to V square by R or the omega square R. So this is the, the linear angular variables are the relationship.